everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist, Tom Stevens, here to break down lyrics to some awesome music. And today it's YNW Melly. Going back into some music by him, Murder on My Mind. <laughs> Just makes me slightly uncomfortable to be able to go into this, but I'm going to do it. You request it, you put it out there, we're going to make it happen. YNW Melly, Murder on My Mind. Remember, mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics is our goal, it's our mission, it's our passion. And Nick and I are thankful that you would join us every day to do that. If you want more of what we do, if you want to support us more, go to our Patreon page. I'm telling you, go to our YouTube for memberships. There is more content. There are more live streams out there for members. You will get so much more than you already get on YouTube every day. But without further ado... Here we go, Y and W Melly, Murder on My Mind. This is hard. Man, this is hardcore. The message I'm already getting, guns, drugs, violence, crime, all kinds of stuff. But he's talking about mama and wanting to give her kisses on Christmas, but locked up. Talking about snitches coming to put him in prison. Can't have the girl. It's not how I want anybody to live. Like, I want you to be able to be home for Christmas with your family, be able to stay out of trouble. But man, all the guns, the violence, look at this living and just the reality of what it's like. I don't know the story of YNW Melly. You can tell me. I'm ready to hear. I've heard a little bit, but wow, what a start to a song, y'all. Even give her no kisses. Even post on my Instagram, could he puts a nigga be snitching? Everybody had the suspicions. Oh. Might probably say that I'm tripping when I'm all alone in my jail cell. I tend to get in my feelings, mm. and all I smoke is that loud. Don't pass me no midget, and I'ma smoke all of my pain away, cause that's the only thing that gon' heal it. I don't understand you uh, women. Uh, uh. Go around pretending as if they really fought with me, so I love them all from a distance. <laughs> Not playing again. I know this stretching right here in YNW Melly and Tom breaking down mental health. But there are pieces in this that make real sense. You know, the pieces of like, I'm not sure these girls actually are into me. So I'm going to keep my distance. I'm not going to let them get too close here. In other words, I don't know who he can trust. I don't know based on his background and where he's been. If he has clearly attachment issues, trauma and has learned bandman issues, has learned just keep a distance because I'm not really sure uh, if you're trying to use me, take advantage of me, take me down, or really do care. Pretending as if they really fought with me. Beat. So I love them all beat. from a distance. Beat. Girl, the same bitch, say she down the ride. Be the main one who tricking. Got my limits with promethazine because every time I wake up. Now what? Oh my gosh, what's he mixing? See this. I love them all from a distance. Cause the same bitch say she down the ride. Be the main one who tricking. Got my limits with promethazine. Cause every time. The heck is that? Not a psychiatrist, so I don't know all the, the meds going on here, but I know Molly. What is promethazine? <clears throat> I should know that, but you're going to teach me that. So I can't wait to hear. I wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. Uh -huh. AK 47. Is 
is this like really something that's happened to him? And, you know, is the murder piece about him going out and doing something? Or is it about him feeling like something's going to happen to him? Yellow tape around his body. Ah. Ah. Fucking ah. Ah. His face is on a t-shirt and his family's traumatized. Facts. I didn't even need a shoot him. He just caught me by surprise. So he shot somebody. Like somebody was coming up on him. He was shocked, surprised, and it happened. Oh my goodness. Look at these children just standing there watching. You know, the trauma that young children can experience in any home. I mean, this is like the extreme, extreme example. Changes your life. Like it doesn't allow you to live life the same way anymore because there's always the PTSD of going back to that moment of feeling like something like that could always happen or feeling like you've you, you won't have somebody now that you had before for what reason? And is this normal? And children grow up seeing that as like, not okay, but normal part of their life. I didn't even need a shoot him. He just caught me by surprise. I reloaded my pistol, caught it back and shot him twice. His body dropped down to the floor and he had to drops in his eyes. He grabbed me by my hands and said he was afraid to die. I told him it's too late, my friend, it's time to say goodbye And he died inside my arms, blood all on my shirt Wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind AK-47s, Mac-11, Glocks and Nines and all these pussy It's like he was on there See that? It's like he was on the stretcher and the guy in the t-shirt now was the one standing there taking care of him. Did you see that? Time to say goodbye. And he died inside my arms. Blood all on my shirt. Wake up in the morning. I got murder on my mind. AK 47s, Mac 11, Glocks and Nines. And all these pussy niggas hating, trying to knock me off my grind. But I can't let them do it. I got murder on my mind, bitch. I got murder on my mind. Like a straight jacket there, like he's gone crazy with it. It's so hard because I listen to the music and I love the beat, and then I start seeing the the video and the the graphic nature of it, and then I read the lyrics, and it's like, which do I go with? I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. I got murder. this is intense man this is getting into some of those videos i've seen where it's like this is it's darkness you know, I don't know if this is really his mental state and what he's feeling and living, or if this is something that, you know, he's trying to tell a story of something else. But is this actual life experience of his? Because sometimes our mental state, it gets really off based on what we've lived through, what we've uh, uh, experienced ourselves, you know, what we've lived through watching, what we've experienced ourselves and actually done. And then sometimes we just start thinking and over-processing and going in this loop of like this belief system. And he just seems off with some of this. It's just graphic. Murder on my mind. I almost wonder, like, I'm thinking deeper into the rap game. Does that mean I'm going to destroy them with the, with the music I make versus the actual murdering and the actual guns? Or Oh, my goodness. This is really educating me. Murder on my mind. I got 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 murder on my mind. Murder on my mind. Oh, oh. Young in the world, bitch. Oh, oh. I think 
she's wearing some kind of dress there with pearls and I need help on this one. This is stretching me. I mean, I'm here in the darkness. You're seeing a nun in there. You're seeing caskets, the hearse, the whole nine yards. Y&W Melly, murder on my mind. Gosh, I'd probably say after that, I've got depression on my mind. Like, it's sad to see all of that and to watch it and to hear the lyrics of, of just how much devastation, destruction, violence, crime that's out there that I don't want children to be exposed to. And that's what's hard when I watch the children in videos and see that's actually what they're noticing. That's what they're living through, and that's what's considered normal for them. And it's hard to watch that. Remember, there is help out there. Like, in spite of what you've been through, that sometimes you have to be able to, I mean, you couldn't, they didn't have a choice. They had to live through it. But there is recovery. There is trauma work to be done and some healing to be done with that. But remember, these reactions are not real therapy. Just Tom reacting to music. If you want real help, check the link in the description. There's help out there. Good therapy is good. It will help you move through a lot of the past trauma that's out there, and you deserve that. Also, go to our Discord servers. Lots of people to chat, talk to, and connect with at Reaction Therapy. Over 2,700 people, I'm telling you. Give me your comments, feedback, insight. Let me know what you think about this, because I want to hear what the story is with YNW Melly, this song, and just what is happening here. And thank you for being here. If you want more of what we've got, if you want to support us more, go to Patreon, go to our YouTube memberships. There is more content, there are more live streams, and you won't regret it. I can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy.